Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. So, today I'm actually going to be talking about something that I think I may have brought up before. I have so many DNR videos on this channel at this point, I don't even know <laughs> what I've said. To a specific degree. But today I'm actually going to be talking about trials. But a very specific aspect from it. In any case... So, kind of, to kind of get into it, trials have always been a tough thing to go through. And personally, I've dealt with a lot of them. But something I've found, which is very interesting, is that, yes, as much as they can be pushed through when you're on your own, it is always so much better when you have a separate individual walking through it with you. Now, I'm not saying the person's holding your hand. A lot of people look at it that way and it's just like, no, I'm not going to do that. That's not what I mean. There, It's very, very hard to get through a problem without either the help, the guidance, or the care of somebody else. The Good Samaritan Law in the U.S. exists for a very big reason. That's part of it. I've noticed that this kind of thing is true within one aspect, and that's through myself. Recently, I, as you guys may know if you followed my channel long enough, I came out through. I came out of a very, very large trial, and thought I was alone. Luckily, there, whether from one angle or another, there was always one specific individual who was always there. Sometimes they were individuals I didn't even know. Like, Good Samaritan Strangers. But the thing is, for me, it doesn't matter if it's someone I know or not. If there's someone who shows they care and I can get that feeling off of them, I would allow them into my heart and let them help. That's something that I've found very, very beneficial. But, it usually is better when it's somebody you know. A good example would be my parents. So I've got... A, for me, I suffer greatly through depression a lot of the time. There can be the, like, the smallest things that just trigger it like that. Luckily, every time that that has happened, my mom... Sometimes my dad as well, but more so my mom has always been there to relate to something going on. Now this is most of the time. My dad, he's usually under that front too, but my mom is there just more through, more able to explain it on the level that I need. Um, they just have different like ways of explaining things. Like, my dad's more the side of reason, which is where I get it. My mom is more the side of emotion, which is not bad under these kind of circumstances. Um, it's with the, I get that part of her, too. Th both those attributes actually kind of do make me up. But I digress. It's the emotion part that really kind of hits core with this kind of thing. Now, reason, from what my dad says, or my, my, from what my dad comes from, still has a lot of that emotion... Just probably not as much. Yet, my dad still tries to be there as much as my mom. And he is. But this is kind of what I'm saying. You always have someone by you. And when you do, it makes it a lot more bearable to get through this kind of stuff. That depression kind of fades away very slowly. But whenever I've had a significant other appear, mind you, who could help me get through it or a parent who was there to relate to it, it makes it so much easier. And this is one trial example of several hundreds of thousands I could probably think of. Most of them would be kind of like story hypothetical. They wouldn't be realistic. Well, they might be realistic, but they wouldn't be, you know, events that have actually happened. Another good example I think would be that there have been circumstances I have had a very, 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 very close friend who had multiple friends actually under this front who have struggled with finances via jobs. And I have been the kind of person to always sit by their side 
while they find that soft spot. During that search, I could always tell that when it, I could tell when it was needed and when it was abused during those points in times. But when it comes to like the, the feel itself, for me, being there for the person, you could always tell it was gratitude that came off of it. And that's something that really warmed my heart. Something that always told me one thing. You can't do something. You can't always, emphasis on always, that doesn't mean you can't ever, but you can't always push through a trial without somebody else there to be supportive, comforting, guiding, loving, etc., etc. It's just something that I've noticed that I feel like is very relatable to me and to many others. Something that I kind of wanted to bring up. Something that I feel is very, very optimistic about the topic. That being said, I'm going to end this video here. What did you think about what I had to say? Do you have anything else you'd like to add? If so, let me know in the comments below. If you liked this video, make sure to push that like button and so far you can't see it anymore. And if you really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. Have a suggestion, once again, for something you'd like me to talk about? Let me know in the comments below. Want to check out any videos about me, or like this one, DNRs? Click links on the side of my head. Or, if you're interested in any other kind of live stuff or gaming stuff that I do on this channel, click the icon that's kind of around my face somewhere below my eyes. Um, I, don't, I don't know. It, 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 I'm going to go on a tangent if I go back into that loop. Nope, nope, that's not happening. Or you can click the link down there. If you are already subbed and you want to support the channel more, please consider heading over to my Patreon. Link in the description below for that one. Um, either way around, though, I'm going to head off. Thanks again for watching this video, guys. And I hope to see you guys in another one. Bye for now.